All right, like I was saying, these people are a problem because the chefs and the cooks, right, are cooking to-go orders and dine-in orders. But there's so many damn to-go orders that the to-go orders are taking priority over the dining orders. You get what I'm saying? So you got this black dude who's like pretty much in there kicking ass, you know, cooking the food. And you got this older white lady, Tracy, you know what I'm saying? No problem with her. But she in there, they got this, they got this lady. They got this lady, bro. They have this lady weighing tables and exploring the food. She should not be exploring the food. She should be out taking the tables because she's only getting paid $2 and what, 14 cents an hour. It's just ridiculous. And, you know, I ha I got this one guy. I didn't even, I don't even know this this dude even had a, uh, a tip. I mean, a, a vet, if he was even a veteran or not. But he, he asked him for um, a free combo. And I'm just like, yeah, man, okay, fine. You know what I mean? He got this big white family come in and I take their order already. And typically the food comes out in 10 minutes. But because of all these damn to-go orders, man, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening at all. And right when I get their food out, you get what I'm saying? Right when I get their food out, um, Right when I get their food out, everyone eats, but the kid, the kid's food is jacked up because they got the wrong meat on there. Even though I put it on there right. Plus the lady's got hair, a, a strand of hair in her over hard eggs. And I'm just, I'm just looking, I'm just like, she said that and, I, and I'm like, are you serious? That's what I said, are you serious? And I'm just pissed. I'm like, they're fucking up my money. <laughs> They're fucking my money up, man. And then I get to these two older black chicks that are pretty much demanding shit out of me. I'm just like, fuck off. And their food is messed up. I just gave them, and I see them talking to this waitress who I don't talk to. This lady named Akiko, annoying as fuck. I think she's homeless or something like that because she's always going in and out of there. You know what I'm saying? She's always going in and out of there to get food. You know, I, I typically respect people like that because, you know, life is hard. But she's just so damn annoying because she's always minding people's business. You know, so she's talking to my table. And then she's in the back talking about how um, they're upset with me. You know, I'm like, I didn't even, I didn't fuck it up. I put right what they wanted. But the cooks, are they got so many fucking orders, so they're going to make a few mistakes. And plus... They're talking about something I can't touch the food because there's somebody to expo it. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I said, enough was enough, man. So I'm in the back listening to them gossip. And they stopped their gossiping because they, they saw that I was there. But I didn't give a fuck because I got tired of dealing with the dumb shit. So I was like, am I going to stay or am I going to leave? And... I was a bit hesitant because I was waiting on the decision. So what I did was I looked at my manager and I said, what is she about to say? So she starts arguing like she always does. Arguing as bitch. I had went off on her one time and she was like, I'm sorry, Mr. Sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Sir. I was like, shut the fuck up in my head. I said, stop calling me Mr. Sir and all this dumb shit and just get my shit out. You get what I'm saying? Because earlier, she had got, uh, she was pretty pissed off because, uh, you know, an order or some shit like that had happened. Good morning, good morning. Hey, what's good? What's up? She had got pissed off because the order, uh, she had to, <laughs> she had to discount the order. But I'm like, that's not my fault. Because y'all ain't tell me that these mofos were getting free food. I hop really out here giving free food. <clears throat> so, you know, that happens and she's looking all crazy like you need to ask like bitch why am i supposed to ask and no one told me this fuck out of here you get what i'm saying so that was that and you know i see her arguing so i was about to take some food 
I was like, nah, I'm not taking any food. I need to eat healthy. I need to get my body right for, you know, the weeks that are about to come. So, you know, I had, um, what's the word? What did I do? So, right, what I did was I walked out, walked into the hallway. I looked at the people. And what really set me off was that that white family had, I was I was walking up to them and said, hey, the food is about to come. But she told me, don't worry about it. The kids are done eating. And that really pissed me off. That really pissed me off, man. Because I was just like, hey, these I, like I was really mad, not because I didn't make any money, but because these people's service was just garbage. And it was like literally nothing I could do about it. And so that really pissed me off. And I just, they probably saw me walking back and I just shook my head. I was like, fucking hell. That's why I said these fucking people. I'm not talking about the customers, but the um, but the, the staff and the manager. And I was just like, these fucking people. I walked into the restroom. I looked at myself. I washed my face with a paper towel. And I just walked out. I, I just walked out, man. Right now I'm walking home, as y'all can see. You know, I'm about, to, I'm about to look for another job, probably get like an office job until I can start uh, driving and stuff like that, you know. But um, I got I got an uh, alcohol license. I just got to go to the ATC, the Alcohol Bureau, and uh, get it printed out. But, you know, I was I was just sick of that job, man. I already called out on a, um, on a Thursday. I called out because I didn't I didn't want to deal with that. You know, I didn't want to make, what, $50 working six or seven hours and have to deal with all the foolishness, all the strife and all that. So, I got out of there, man. And they're probably going to call me, so I blocked their numbers. And if I hear anything, if I hear a manager or something like that, I mean, like, mail me my check to the address and hang up. <sighs> Who wants to deal with that? So, I'm about to get another job soon. Get the hell up out of there which I did, and me, I'm gonna eat. Like, this shit is crazy. Who trying to deal with all that? And I can't even talk right now because I'm starving. So I'm out.